It's not really January Giallo unless there's a black love killer lurking in the shadows. So joining us via satellite is, well, a Giallo film's black love killer. All right, that's a pretty generic intro, Jim. Is the straight razor still your preferred weapon of choice? I know all of the, uh, the weapons, yes. Um, but, uh, you know, accidents happen and, uh, well, this has a little bit of a safety, yeah? It, uh, it goes in your pocket and you're not gonna be like, oh my hand! <laughs> I get clumsy, I hurt myself. Does wearing those gloves all the time ever cause you any problems? That's a loaded one, Jimmy. <laughs> uh, my ther therapist says that I have a, uh, a maladaptive uh, uh, attachment to uh, <laughs> these guys here. She's like, oh, Mr. Killer, why don't you try some latex? Or, uh, why don't we try the color red? And I say, no, don't fill me with other rage. <laughs> because seriously, I'm allergic to latex, and red might as well be neon. Everyone's going to see you coming from a million miles away, right? But I try. Uh, right now, she, uh, she's got me on uh, a neoprene. It's, uh, it's actually very nice. Do you think Giallo films will ever make a comeback? If, uh, great, good, good will bracing, or, uh, or animaniacs, or, uh, any indication is that, uh, th this, uh, this culture is into the, uh, how do you say, uh, uh nostalgia. <laughs> like, oh my god, these kids, they had, they hired me recently and they're like, oh, Mr. Giano, we want you to be Mr. Killer Giano. And they're like, let me put like a knife into like a dildo. I'm like, oh my god, you guys are crazy. <laughs> it was so much fun. Lastly, how do you prefer to drink your J&B Scotch whiskey? Strangle it till it's open. Oh, these neoprene gloves. And I open it and I drink it straight up. Oh, I got 